When you see a new Chevrolet Bolt, think about more than just the fact that it's an electric car. Think of all the work that went into getting that 238 mile range. The work starts in this laboratory where GM develops batteries for all electrified vehicles. That includes mild hybrids, hybrids, plug-in hybrids, extended range electrics, and pure electric vehicles like the Bolt. This lab was actually developed for the original Chevrolet Volt. It's been improved upon, and the learnings from that program have allowed them to develop the pure electric Chevrolet Bolt. It would be impossible to develop cars on such a tight timeline as we do. I mean, Volt was the first to market car, Bolt EV is the first to car market car. That can only happen because we can do that here. These batteries are for the first and second generation extended range Volt. The need for a larger battery created a packaging challenge, first for the Chevy Spark EV and now for the Bolt electric vehicle. A finished battery pack is on display at GM's Orion plant, a factory that started life making big cars, was adapted to small car production, and has now added production of both the Bolt and its European cousin, the Opel Ampera E. Building the electric Chevrolet Bolt on the same line as a conventional Chevrolet Sonic creates some challenges. So they solve it by having the same station that installs the gas tank on the Sonic install the battery on the Bolt. It's fascinating to watch the workers install a fairly small gas tank on a Sonic, and as the Bolt approaches, a cart approaches with the 900-pound battery. Yeah, that's all uh, control-driven, so it's a, it's a program that, that knows when the car, where the car is, and it gets the automated guided uh, cart in position and then it's finalized with the, uh, the operators here. At launch, Orion's building about 90 to 100 bolts a day. They can crank that up as the market demands, and a plant that's currently only on one shift has a lot of room both for more bolt production, but also any new product that GM may want to put into this factory. I'm AutoBeat reporter Jeff Gilbert.